Welcome to the SCR System Test 33. I have all new fire alarm devices installed in the garage today and we'll do some testing to make sure that they are working. For the pull station, I have a brand new device. Actually, it's not brand new, but it is a new device that I've never showcased on this channel before. It is a Honeywell S464D1000 pull station. It's kind of similar to the S464A Honeywell pull station. However, this model is entirely plastic. I don't think I've ever seen one of these before installed in a real building. So it's definitely an uncommon model that we'll take a closer look at today when I pull it. For notification appliance installed on the far side of the garage, there is a system sensor SWL strobe only installed. This is a white model and all this essentially does is flash. The strobe brightness is set on 15 candela. And last but not least, for a noise making fire alarm, I have installed a system sensor P2WL-LF. I think this is the first time this alarm has been seen on this channel. It is a System Sensor L series low frequency sounder. I've talked a lot about low frequency alarms on this channel before, but here's still a few facts that you might have not known. So most fires happen between 6 and 8 p.m. at night. However, about half of all fire fatalities actually happen during sleeping hours. So that's late at night or early on in the morning. So because of this, Years ago, there were a series of studies that were conducted on the current fire alarm signal to see if there was any other more effective fire alarm signal that could wake people up at night better. So what they actually found was a fire alarm with a lower frequency was actually six to 10 times more effective at waking people up than the standard ear piercing alarm signal. So this 520 Hertz specific frequency was actually way more effective at waking up school aged children, occupants that might have experienced some form of chemical impairment such as alcohol, and people who are hard of hearing. So low frequency alarms actually were found to work better than bed shaking alarms. Because of this, in 2010, NFPA 72 officially adopted low frequency sounders or the low frequency alarm, and it had a compliance date set for January 1 of 2014. So from then on, hotels, college dormitories, boarding rooms, daycare facilities, assisted living facilities, and other places where people commonly sleep started installing low frequency sounders. And it basically just has a lower tone that you'll hear later on in this video. So pulling this pull station is actually kind of unique. It's the BG-8 style where the entire front kind of just flops down. And I'll go ahead and do that. Here we go, pull, fire. These alarms are kind of famous for the sound going right through walls, which as you can hear it does. The system has been silenced. Let's go ahead and reset the pull station. It's kind of interesting when you reset this one, all you just need to do is take a small flathead screwdriver and poke down on this little piece of metal that's in the top here. It's activated by simply a button, so there's no need to flip a switch in order to reset 
it. So you just poke down on this piece of metal, push it in, try and do it with one hand, <laughs> and there it is. It's all reset. Pretty unique little pull station. It's actually not a little pull station, it's actually pretty big. Here it is compared to a T-bar. So there it is, a nice big pull station. <laughs> all right, let's reset the main fire alarm control panel. There we go. And then actually, I'm thinking we will test out the police panic pull station. Haven't pulled this thing in a while. Let's make sure it still works. Here we go, push, pull. Jeez, that thing is loud. All right, let me find the right key here. Flip the switch. There it is, pull station's reset. And now we'll have to reset the keypad again. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and close up and lock up this panel here. There it is. All right, I think that's gonna do it for System Test 33. Thank you for watching this video. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Go check out some of my other videos if you found any of this interesting. And please have a great day.